Now I'm going to show you fiberglassing and some of the advantages of fiberglassing. Um, in terms of skin moulding using silicon, um, the silicon itself is flexible and can't support its own weight so what we actually need to do is make a jacket which is rigid and, and holds the form um, of the shape while the silicon captures the detail. This is what happens when you don't use a fiberglass jacket or some sort of jacket to hold the shape. The, the face becomes distorted and, and flat. And this is how it should look. So we need to measure out some polyester resin now. Use a GP. Remember to put the cup on the scales and press zero. And we add the resin. Usually half a cup full at a time is plenty for this type of mould. And we work out what 2% is. We move the decimal point to the left two digits. And that gives us 1%. So we just double that to get our 2%. So take the catalyst, squeeze a small amount of catalyst into the neck of the bottle and slowly pour it in. We don't want to put too much catalyst in otherwise we won't get time to apply it to the, the surface of the silicon and wet the fiberglass matting. So we give it a good stir you notice a slight pigment change in the resin as you're stirring from pink to greeny brown. Then we apply the resin in stippling action making sure that we don't leave any dry spots underneath the first layer so we just paint a layer on first before we actually apply any matting at all just so we've got a nice wet surface to to adhere the, the matting to ensuring the surface is covered properly we take our first piece of matting which is actually tissue matting which is a very thin tissue like matting apply it with a wet brush making sure we have plenty of resin on the brush again use a stippling action we don't brush because the, the fibers will drag um, and it can get quite infuriating when you when all the bits are sticking up they're stuck to your gloves and stuck to your brush so keep your brush wet remember to use the same action work from the center of the piece of matting outwards making sure you work out all the air bubbles work around the object overlapping the layers try and make each layer as even as possible uh, next is thicker matting this comes as a double laminate so you need to just rub it, rub it between your fingers and you should be able to see the two halves come apart and then separate them just by pulling them apart. Again, make sure the brush is nice and wet for this because the thicker matting does absorb quite a bit of resin. Um, it does take some working in to actually get the resin into the, the fibres themselves and make them stick, so just persevere and don't be tempted to drag the brush. Again, make sure that we work out all the air bubbles. You'll see the air bubbles are quite noticeable because they're the white white marks and you can see because of the transparency of the resin, you can see that the the air bubbles are under there and you can actually see working out. If and if you come across any particular problem areas with air bubbles, um just saturate your brush with resin um and, and force it down and it, it should work out again with a thicker matting we apply it all over as even as possible with overlapping layers each layer tissue and uh, the coarse strand matting which is what this one is needs 
approximately two to three layers. We have to remember to add a lip onto here just so we add a bit of strength to the edge so we don't get any warping of the, of the, of the actual fiberglass jacket itself so there's no flex or distortion of the silicon underneath which is what we're supporting. Again overlapping layers making sure we keep the brush wet. Just continue all the way around making sure we work out all the air bubbles So when you've finished applying the fiberglass, it should look like this. When it's set, you'll notice a, a slight colour change as well in the surface of the fiberglass. Again, we just flex the sides of the mould just slightly just to work a bit of air into down the sides. And we should be able to pull the silicon straight out of the fiberglass being careful not to tear it this allows us to remove the silicon from the actual original face which made plaster just carefully work it from the sides all the way around and lay it flat on the desk so we don't drop it and gently peel off silicon making sure we go slowly where the eyes and the nose and lips detail is contained so we don't tear any detail off just slowly and carefully if you need to just work it off with your fingers taking care not to tear the silicon perfect replica of the face and to make this shape rigid and to hold the form we just simply pop it back into the fiberglass jacket that we made it fits perfectly and it's ready for casting